Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you the splines and it's on the create panel first it's default selected the geometry but now we are going to use these splines and this is basically the drawings like for instance if we choose the box from the geometry we can see it is three dimensional now let's delete it but when we go to the lines splines shapes and if we draw the rectangle uh, we see that it's two dimensional and it doesn't have any height but it's still useful sometimes for instance for instance if we want to create something like a car here let's draw something like this it's basically looks like the kids throwing the car press close spline you choose yes something like this but it still doesn't have any height in order it to have a height we need to add a modifier to it as everything we can change the, our object from the modify panel when we go to the modify panel uh, with our line selected we have all these options we can do with we can work with for instance if we choose the vertex we are able to move these independent points again and change it as we want for instance we can change it from this top viewport easily we can make it bigger, we can make it smaller and many more okay good but now I want to give the thickness to it and in order to do this I'm going to go to the modifier list from this tab, modify tab, modifier list and we have a whole bunch of modifiers we can work with and what we do, what we need to find now is extrude when we choose extrude we can see that it gets filled but it still doesn't have any height because the amount of extrusion is zero and when we increase it now we can see that it gets three-dimensional and now it has height <coughs> let's make it bigger and now if we rotate it we can have nice low poly car so let's rotate it like this but it actually not quite the 90 degrees if we need we can double click here just type 90 and this way we make sure that it's exactly rotated as we want or we can use this snap tool angle snap tool and if we press it we are able to rotate it only through the five degrees and if you have a look to this x value you're gonna see that it changed only five times like 65 70 75 80 85 90 and this way and it's good for us when we for instance want to rotate it 90 degree we just move it like this and watch here until it's 90 and then release our button and now let's rotate it back okay now let's move it up okay good now what we need to do is create the tires for this car and now let's have a look let first let's change the color because it's not visible good with these viewports so let's press here and we can change the name of the object here let's type car body and now let's change the color let's choose something light okay now we need to create uh, tires so let's go back here we can create it the cylinder here and it's already 3d object but now our tutorial is about these shapes so I'm gonna create go here and choose circle 
and create the circle here. And as we see, the circle doesn't have the width, and it's all. It's now it's two-dimensional. And if we add the extrude modifier from the modify panel, go to the modifier list and go down and choose extrude, and it's basically the same number we used on this car. So let's decrease it like this. Okay. Now move it to its place. Now let's change the color to something different. Okay. Now press shift and move it to the right. Press okay. And now let's control click to this rear car, rear wheel to select both of them and press shift and move it to the right press ok now we have nice car with the tires and we can we created this result only using using the shapes splines we have different types of the shapes it's like circle I showed you and we created the tires out of this circle we have ellipse it's basically the circle but you can squash and scale it just like you want and we have arc and it's something like this it's just arc and let's create something like this and let's add extrusion extrude modifier and it's it doesn't have any thickness but it's still we still can use it on different models and etc okay now let's delete this shape we have donut it's something like this and if we have two shapes inside of each other and when we press extrude the result will be different because we have two objects and the in inner part of this object will not be filled uh, for instance if we create a rectangle and if we have circle inside and if we select both of these and go to the modify panel choose extrude the result won't be the same because these two segments these two shapes are not attached to each other to attach these segments to each other select one of them right click and choose convert to editable spline and by this by doing this we have spline modifier tools are open to us now we press this attach button and select our shape that we want to attach now as you see they are both the same color and now let's add extrude modifier and as you see we have now we have different result okay okay now let's see what we get here we have end gone for instance, if we want to create the shape which consists of several sides, for instance, if we want to create triangle, rectangle, pentagon, hexagon, and many more, we can create it here. Okay, and we make we can make the corners rounded and something like this we can adjust the round radius here okay and now let's add extrude let's adjust and even after adding extrude modifier we can go back and change the things here let's make it round let's change different properties and it's gonna work 
okay good so let's see what we can do it and we have star <coughs> and it's basically same with this end goal but it, it's a little bit straight we have points distortion like if you want to create a soul circular soul which you can create it like this and for instance it seems it's it cuts objects when it rotates you basically create it with star tool now let's add extrude modifier make it smaller and here is your object is ready maybe we can create a circle let's delete this extrude modifier and for this press this button and now let's create a circle in the middle of this soul and now let's select and attach it to each other and in order to be able to activate the spline tools right click convert to editable spline and attach the new newly circle now let's add extrude modifier and now we have nice soul circular soul that we created okay now we have helix and helix is basically this spiral kind type object and it has different properties we let's go to the modifier panel and I show you for instance you can adjust the turns so it's something like spiral you can adjust the radius top radius and bottom radius and you can adjust the height and the bias something like this okay and the other thing uh, we have about these shapes we have this rendering tab here when we create the shapes uh, we have when we created all kind of shapes we have this rendering tab here and by going to the rendering tab we can make it three-dimensional without having uh, extrude modifier on it so let's go to the rendering tab and press enable in render or enable in viewport okay now let's adjust the thickness and as you see we have nice thickness but it's around the shape for instance if we delete this extrude modifier and go to the rendering tab if we press enable in viewport only these sides of these shapes is gonna be is gonna have thickness we can adjust the sides how many sides it's gonna have and we can rotate it inside out let's decrease the sides in order to see to be able to see it if we change the angle it's basically rotated along itself and this is the radio and we can choose this to be rectangular let's choose the length and the width and now it's much more clearly visible when we rotate it okay good okay now we have nice smooth helix let's decrease the thickness and now we can do everything just before just like before and it, now it has thickness without adding extrude button extrude modifier to it so let's delete now let's create this text shape 
when we press to this button press this button and press to the perspective we have max text the by default because it's written here and now let's turn off this enable viewport and enable render and go back okay now go to the modify panel and change the text as you want for instance Okay, now I write something here. Now we can adjust the size from here. We adjust the separation of these letters from this part kerning and this leaning. It's basically when we have like this and if we want to separate the lines you use the leading numbers and if we want to separate letters from each other we use kerning okay and here we have fonts and we can use a bunch of fonts that we have on our computer for example Helvetica or some other font and to give the sickness to him, to them let's decrease it like this okay now we add extrude and as we see we have nice text and it's three-dimensional and that's it let's rotate it 90 degree degree and we press this angle snap tool and we now know that we can rotate it exactly 90 degree as you see it's 90 and great I hope you understand something from this tutorial now you can work with shapes much more optimized so see you on the next tutorial bye